Fox and Friends Enterprise reporter and host of Lawrence Jones Cross Country, and our friend Lawrence Jones joins us now. So the NAACP in Baltimore County is calling on bringing in the National Guard to address crime. Well, I'll say welcome to the party of realizing that Baltimore has a crime problem. I mean, I've been covering that city for for years, not only the crime problem, the homelessness, the lack of law and order, the corruption in the city. The city council is corrupt. Uh, you got the mayor that was corrupt. You got the district attorney in Baltimore County that is corrupt, that have been indicted. The last mayor was indicted. So, and, and of course, you got members in the police department that are corrupt as well. So the, you got this city that have criminals that are running the street. All the people that are in government are essentially corrupt, and there's a disarray. Do I think the National Guard is going to solve this problem? No. It's just going to put them in a difficult situation. They, the National Guard, as you know, Pete, mm -hmm. aren't there to implement law in, in order. They can't even uh, they, use they, police powers. Exactly. So I, I don't understand what bringing them in is going to do in this situation. I think they need to get rid of all the leaders, put new leadership in place, and start protecting the streets. But uh, th this is not going to do anything. But what a testament to the to the scope and the characterization of the problem, to get to a point where we need the National Guard. Even if the National Guard can't do anything, the imagery of we need the National Guard to stop this problem. Yeah. Well, I, I would say this, where's the NAACP been the entire time when all of this has been going on in the city? I mean, to be fair to the residents, they've been begging for help mm -hmm. for, for years. The NAACP has almost been a part of the problem as yeah. well, demonizing different officials that are trying to yeah, implement let's see what some law and order. The cops. I don't so, know, but you but, know, I, I mean, well, like I said, I mean, I, I, I'm glad they're finally at the party, yeah. but the residents have been begging for help for years now, and no one is really listening to them. I mean, we go out there with our cameras, and we talk with the folks there. We go to the barber shops. We, we patrol the streets to see what's actually happening. You can watch, just, just type in Baltimore yeah. on foxnews.com. But the other media stations aren't doing it. They're not listening to the local residents. So, I, I mean, thank, thank God that they finally woke yeah. up. And I think that the, the broader point here is that it really feels like the base of the Democratic Party, NAACP, is saying under Democratic leadership, there is a crime problem. We need the National Guard to step in. Uh, Lawrence Jones, Cross Country, tonight, what's going on? Yeah, so we got a timeline thing uh, of what's happening in Uvalde. I do not want that story to die. There's a lot of questions unanswered. The Uvalde police chief is not, uh, the ISD police chief is not cooperating with the Texas Rangers investigation. Uh, it has been reported that he did not have a radio on the scene. Yeah. I mean, that is just ridiculous. Well, when kids are begging for help, that he didn't have his radio. So we're going to have a timeline shift uh, on that and talk about all the details that are happening on the ground there. 10 p.m., we won't miss uh, it. Before I go, I know can we talk about these, they told us the, we have to these, go. these kid boosters? I think we got to go. Hey, Will, we got to go. I, 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 I come tease. on the set, and I'm like, what it's are these go, black Lawrence. things under their seats? I've never seen something that is more beta male <laughs> than having this because Carly is taller than you guys or appears on TV. Y'all put these little boosters <laughs> under your seat. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Lawrence, thanks, Toba. It. Thanks, it's called padding. Wow, padding. It's wow. called padding. It's padding. Firming up our right. seats, Lawrence. Wow. You called it a booster seat. Unbelievable. Look at you right now. Uh, you look at uh, as a look, Texan, look at you should television. be embarrassed. Well, you God like made me it. this way. I understand. God made me this way. I can't. I can't explain. Like a giant. Uh, it's unbelievable. You should be embarrassed as a Texan. Pete, we should just. And uh, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Of course, I thought we were friends. We, we are friends, no. which is why I'm heartbroken. I'm like these. These are my guys. I want to go to war with them. And are y'all going to bring these to the battle? Like it's Out crazy. There, if I need these, to, I'll right. take it. <laughs> That's right. It'll be our shield. Our shield in the knockerball tournament, Lawrence. You can throw it with Captain America. All right, wait, now, now see what it looks like without your booster seat. Wow. wow. Look at us. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. I, I want the record to reflect that I'm still fine it's here. It's okay with me.